Hello everybody, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and it is Monday night um, and I am coming on to share some uh, new stamp sets that I got. Um, I have not been buying a lot of stuff lately but I saw these actually on Anna White's channel and I researched the company and found them and they are still selling stamps so I'm going to share them with you. But I'm going to do this kind of in reverse in that I am in the process of finishing up a card here and I thought I would just turn on the camera and roll while I finish the card, okay? And the image that I'm working with is this sweet prim image right here, okay? And I'm about to glue my card together and I'll show you what I have used. I've used this Richard Gray embossing folder and uh, let me just show it. I don't know if that helps you see it. It really doesn't. <laughs> Um, let's go like that. Does that help you? There you go. So this is a pine um, background that he did a number of years back. I've had it for a long time. Um, this is a greetery uh, rectangle set that has these little stitching, almost like a, you know, a stitched line through the whole thing. I use those. And then I use this set of dies from January Designs. And these ones have an inside and outside double stitched line. Okay. So those are the dies that I used. Um, I used my Memento Brown Ink in Rich Cocoa. Um, I used this extremely old Brown Sugar Jenny Bolin uh, pad. Um, this was one of the first stamp pads I ever bought. And believe it or not, it is still juicy and works great. Um, so these I usually keep. I have a little ink stand on my desk, and these are some of the inks that I have in there. I also used Crumb Cake from Stampin' Up. So these are just some of my brown inks that I have. I don't have a ton of inks, you guys, but I do keep some browns and blacks at my desk. And uh, I've tried different colors of browns. I'm always looking for a good ginger color, so I'm experimenting. But those all I've had for years and years. And stamp pads last a long time. Um, especially if you're just using them to ink things uh, very lightly. So I embossed this. Um, this is a gray cardstock from Paper Terry Ink called Soft Stone. I embossed it with the embossing folder, and then I took that Jenny Bolin ink, and I very lightly went over it just to bring out the embossing. This is a piece of paper from my scraps. Okay, so I have no idea what paper this is. I think I used it in a video earlier this year, and this is just one of the last pieces that I have. And you'll notice that it has some cardboard showing through on it, so it's a really neat kind of prim style looking paper. There's the uh, the little die cut that I did with the um, greetery die, and this is just a piece of corrugated cardstock. And then I also was fooling around with other papers, but I, I went with these ones. So these ones will go back into my scrap bin. And then I colored the image with Copics. And for those of you that are colorers, this these are the markers that I used. Some are Copics and some are from, um, uh, oh, what are these? They're alcohol markers. I don't even know who they're by, but I got them at um, when we still had Tuesday morning. So those are the ones that I used. I have a small selection of Copics in the basement that I use, but most of my Copic markers are upstairs. So I just went with what I had, um, and I just colored this little image, um, and I just, I'm in love with these stamps. So uh, I'm gonna just finish off this card really quick. I have this all ready to go popped up, up on some uh, dimensional foam tape that I get from Daiso. Um, this is what it looks like, and uh, it's just a big roll of tape uh, from Daiso. So I have that, but I'm going to go ahead and glue this paper down onto my little soft stone card base that's been embossed. Ooh, look at the back of that. I didn't even look at the back, but that might be too many lines, <laughs> but I like that too. Um, but I, I wanted the floral to kind of play off the florals in the in the image that I'm using. So I do like the way this paper plays off what the actual image is. So I'm gonna try, uh, it's hard to do this looking through my camera, but I'm gonna try and center this on my card base. We'll see if I can get it centered just right. I always find when I'm doing things on camera that I don't do as good of a job just because it's hard to, it's hard to look at what you're doing in film. <laughs> 
anyone that makes videos knows it's just not it's not the easiest thing in the world so then I'm going to center my little image onto the center of this panel and I love using when I'm doing prim style stamps it's very fun to use um, corrugated paper um, gosh I hope that's straight all right so I'm going to go like that and then I cut a little tiny piece of ribbon and I'm just going to put a little dot of this Tamamano multi-adhesive right in the center to glue it together and I'll just hold that together until it dries a little bit and then I'm going to tuck that underneath the side of this and I do need to glue that down too so let's let that dry for a second we'll glue this first put some glue on here doesn't take much. This Tamamano is a very strong glue and uh, it holds on to your paper very well. So we'll get that centered up and pressed down. There we go. And the last little detail is just this little piece of this beautiful velvet ribbon. Um, I have a little basket here on my desk that I keep some ribbons in. And so I just went through and I thought this matched really well with this paper. So it was the perfect little finishing touch. And I'm just going to tuck this under here. There we go. And I'll glue that into place. Oops. Let's see if we can get it under there. Good. There we go. Oh, and what's nice is that foam tape helps to hold it also and then what I usually do is I just tuck a little dot of glue under there so I'll do that after I get off camera but um, there you go there's a sweet little prim style card now if you are watching Anna White's channel I think it's been a couple weeks now she shared some stamps that she got I believe she got hers on eBay and uh, she mentioned the company name and I love prim stamps um, and I saw the stamps that she shared, and I'll show you the sets. Uh, she shared this one here, and let me show you the images. Okay, and these are by a company called Rubber Stamp Concepts, okay? And this is their website, and they are still in business. If you look at their blog, their blog doesn't have entries since like 2011 or 2012, I forget the year. And I called them to find out if their website was still viable. It looked like it was. I was able to put, uh, put stuff in a cart and everything, but their blog had really old entries. So I just wanted to check. So I called and asked and talked with the man who answered the phone. And I ordered and he sent my sets out. So I ordered this set. And this one is called Twigs Primitive Collection Snowman. And uh, I stamped them out for you just so you guys can see what they look like. So this is an A2 size piece of cardstock. And I think this one would be really cute. You could cut out the bird and put it on its head if you want, or even have it holding it in its hand. Um, and then this one is holding the bird. And then it has this sweet little poem. Oh, harvest angel, oh so dear, bless our pumpkins this year. Let them grow upon the ground and let them be plump and round. And I think this would make the sweetest little tag, wouldn't it? With some, and you could color in the pumpkins and maybe even put a, um, you know, put this on a tag and then add some of the pumpkins on the, uh, a little pumpkin tag at the edge of the, of your twine or something. But I just think this is so sweet. And then this one says, "May the bounty of the season fill your heart and your home." And I love this old style house there and the cute little fence. And if you look really closely, there are pumpkins. So really sweet images, you guys. And then the last set of stamps in that set are these ones here. There's a give thanks sentiment. This one says bittersweet and she's holding a wreath. Um, and it's this little stand of a snowman. And then this one says give thanks. And again, you have the bird, which is a very common thing in prim. Um, and then this cute little snow man. So, um, these are just precious so that's one of the sets okay with these images here and this is what the set looks like and these are red rubber okay so that's the first set and then and I had to order all three you guys I love these so much um, this is the second set and I'll show you the images again look at this snowman holding the tree with a little candy cane 
and there's a little star and she has buttons on her coat and a little holly in her hat. I love this and it's a stocking. I don't know if you can see that. And then um, this one, the little snowman has a ginger here and a ginger here. So, oh, I can't wait to color that one. And then um, there's little snowmen faces. And then here's this little one down here that says snow. These will be so cute on little tags. And then this one is so cute because it says winter pickens and she's got a little pot with flowers in it. And I just love all the little details on the cuff and on her scarf, on the cuffs of her coat and her little mittens. Little details here, so really beautiful stamps. Again, it's rubber stamp com concepts and it's Twigs Primitive Collection Snowman 1, okay? So the first one is Twigs Primitive Collection Give Thanks and this one is Snowman 1, okay? So that's the second set and uh, here are what they look like stamped out. I can't wait to color more of these and make cards and tags with them. I love this one with the gingers. Okay, and again, these are on an A2 card piece because I wanted you to kind of see the sizes. So this way you can kind of tell what the size of it is. And uh, you can see what it looks like, the sizes of the stamps on an A2 card. So that's why I made a card. So you can kind of see how, how to do it on a card. And then um, here's the little snow. These will be so cute on little Christmas tags, won't they? I just love this one. Look at that. Look at the detail on the hat the little um, dots and the little holly and um, or pine branch with the little star. So cute. Oh my gosh. And you know, it's not very often anymore where I see something that I absolutely have to have. But when Anna showed these, I was just like, oh my gosh, I want those stamps. And so I was so excited when I researched and found that the company was still in business. So a really nice guy that I talked to. I can't remember his name now. Um, Anyway, thank you for talking to me and sending these off to me so quick. And then this is the other stamp set that I got, and this one is called Twigs Primitive Collection Jars, okay? And it has four jars for the different seasons. So you have the crows for the fall, and Jana, I thought of you when I saw this, if you want me to stamp this out for you, I can, because Jana collects crow stamps, and I just thought she might really like this. And then this little bunny is for the spring, and it says Pickens, and then flowers is the little tag on this one. The, fla the tag on this one is crows, and I love the little pumpkin on this one. So they all, they all are so cute. And then this one says snow, and this is the one that I made my card of. Okay, so that's what it looks like colored. And then the 4th of July one has the flag, a star, and a flower in it. And this one says Liberty. And it has a little star with the pickings on the, on the thing. Here's what they look fully in the red rubber. And I know you probably can't see them well, so I did stamp the rest of them out so you can see them. So here's the bunny one. Here's the crow one. And these are all stamped in that... Uh, Memento Rich Cocoa Brown Ink. That's the ink that I used. So just adorable, adorable images. Oh, I just love them. Um, I was so excited about this jar set. And uh, I'm not sure if Anna should, had all three of these or just the snowmen, but I love this jar set too, okay? And these were $19.99 on, um, on his site, and they are red rubber, and they're cling and mounted on a board for you. Um, here, let me take this out so you can see. So the way it comes is it has this cover sheet and they're on the plastic board. So they're already mounted for you on the board and they are cling mounted. So you just stick them to your stamp block, you guys. So any stamp block you have, they just stick and you ink them up and stamp them down. It's that easy. So I love sets that come like this um, that are all ready to go. And so, and then he has them packaged in this nice bag. And uh, I don't tend to repackage things because I don't like more plastic in my life. My biggest wish is that our entire um, craft industry would switch to paper bags for everything, printed paper bags, if they want to print the stamp set in the name of their company or whatever. But I would love to see us move away from plastic and lead the world in switching to paper. Um, Honeybee Stamps does 
they're shipping all in paper. They're very conscious of that. But um, we still need to do better. We need to get rid of the plastic, you guys. It's, it's you know, it takes 500 years to break down, if even then. Um, so anyway, I won't, I won't get on my soapbox, but I'm really hoping that as a community, the craft community could step up and try to switch their packaging to paper and be cognizant of how we contribute to landfills. So that's it for today. Um, as far as these stamp sets go, again, it's, it's uh, rubber stamp concepts and you can order from their website. There's the information there and I will link it in the drop down menu down below. And then one last look at this cute little card and how it turned out. I thought I would do the winter one first. Um, so a little Christmas card and I hope to send this off to a friend. So um, just really sweet. I love that Richard Garay um, embossing folder in the background. And uh, I just uh, think these are the sweetest stamps in the world. <laughs> so these are the three sets. Um, I'll show them to you one last time what they look like. So there they are. Uh, you can take a photo if you want and then zoom in and look at them. Um, but anyway, I'm so excited about those. So those are my happy mail. That That's kind of my, my huge Christmas splurge to myself. Um, and then I ordered a few more things and I thought I would share these really quick. I saw this stamp and this is um, a beautiful red rubber cling. It's from Penny Black's new collection. And it, two things, this is my mom. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something. When we were growing up, my mom had this hat, okay? And it has these pom-poms on it, and it is a beautiful, um, I don't know if it's faux fur or what, but it's a beautiful um, hat. And I, this is what I remember about my mom in the winter, is her wearing that hat to church with a beautiful red wool coat. Um, that she had for probably 50 years, I, s I swear. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, certain things just stick with you. But this also looks like my niece. And um, I saw this stamp and I just had to get it. And I hope to make some Christmas cards for both of them with it. So uh, I wanted to share that and show you my little hat. Um, I almost got rid of the hat a while ago and I thought, what are you doing? Keep it because it has so many important memories attached to it for me and uh, um, and then believe it or not it's also a very warm hat so sometimes when we get really really cold weather I'll even throw it on and wear it so <laughs> anyway on a snow day it's a fun one to wear outside and uh, let the snow drift down on it so I thought I would share that really quick and then um, I splurged on one other thing um, Picket Fence Studio has some new gingers that they put out and you're able to just die cut the, the outside of the ginger or you can insert this plate and it will cut the detail and emboss detail into it. So um, I thought I would show these. Uh, here's the little boy one, okay. And, uh, and then they had this, which I thought was really sweet. And I ordered this specifically for some recipes that I'm working on because I liked the little icons here to stamp um, onto the recipes. And it says, holiday baking is the best way to say I love you. Isn't that the truth? Cookies make the holidays that much sweeter. Christmas calories don't count. Warning, these are not gluten-free. And then there's one more cookie down here by itself that's a tree. So these were my um, little Christmas kind of gifts to myself this year. Um, I'm, I really am excited to try these out, but uh, the piece de resistance, as far as I'm concerned, are these beautiful prim stamp sets. And I wanted to come on and share this with you because I'm sure a lot of you watched Anna's video. Hi, Anna. Um, and saw when she shared these snowmen sets. And uh, I don't know if she had this one or not, but I just wanted to come on and uh, share them and thank Anna for buying them and sharing them because it led me to having some stamp sets that I know I will use year after year after year for Thanksgiving and Christmas cards and Halloween cards with the little pumpkin poem and stuff, um, as well as all summer long for little birthdays and different things uh, with these beautiful four jars. So um, that is it for me tonight. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little card share 
and um, all the products that I shared with you tonight. Um, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Monday and that you have a wonderful rest of your week. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that uploaded for Saturday Morning Makes. I am still trying to watch everything, you guys. Um, we're, we're growing, which is a beautiful thing. There's people joining us from all over the world, from the UK, from Italy, from, I think, Croatia, just different spots around the world. And uh, I'm just really excited that to see all of the beautiful makes that everybody's doing. Um, and most importantly, that friendships are being formed and that we're sharing art and we're sharing joy at a time when I think the world needs to come together and uh, find things to be joyful about. So um, that's it for me tonight. Bless you all, and I will see you on Saturday, if not before. All right, bye now.